Boxing cat, boxing cat, boxing cat, boxing cat, boxing cat, boxing cat, boxing cat. I don't know. Aren't you a little tired of cat videos? No. What type of formal question is that? I don't know. There's just so many of it. How could I ever get tired of cat videos? I mean, they do stupid and ignore incredible things. I mean, imagine how it'd be like 30 years ago. A cat would box. A cat would put on gloves and box like a human. And then someone would be like, oh wow, what an amazing boxing cat I have. No need to share with the world. And then like, we never get to see it again. I guess that's true. Micah! Yeah? Hold on a sec. My mom's calling me. Minimize window. What are you doing? I thought you said you were finishing up your great gas paper. I am. Well, it doesn't look like you're doing that. Mom, look, I only have one paragraph for this right. It'll take me like two minutes, and then I'm done. Well, you only have 45 minutes before it's time for you to leave the school. Are you really sure it'll take you two minutes because the last time? Mom, I swear, I know exactly what I'm going to write. I promise. Fine, but I'm going to see you before you're ready to go to school. So turn for your internet browser and get to work. What if I need to pull something up? Well, then, I don't know. I guess you can turn it off for as long as you need to. That's a specific article. Well, I don't want you to turn it off. So, Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm going to Maximize windows. Hey, I got to go. My mom's being really annoying about this guy. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, I was thinking of making this meme out of the box of that thing, so if you have any good meme headings, just look it up. I was thinking this cat likes to punch. I don't think that makes sense. Michael, to be successful on the internet, what you're doing doesn't have to make sense. That is one to slow and better. All right, guess it'll go viral then. Bye. Close window. All right. Three more sentences. Here we go. In the end, Jay Gatsby never did get what he wanted. His precious and elusive light. What was the color of that light? Blue? What color is blue? His precious and elusive blue light. Oh, dang it, it's not blue. It's, it's Wi Fi line. Hi, welcome to Google, where we have everything you can ever want forever, plus more. How can I help you? Uh, just taking a look at the video. With the video? Wonderful. Happy searching. Be sure to have people there. Hi, welcome to the people, eh? Hey, you're back. Did you finish your Gatsby paper? No, not yet. I forgot what color the light was in the great Gatsby. What light? The, the light. The light that punch gave to Jane Gatsby. Daisy's light. I forgot what color it was, and I know he's just wrong with my points if I get the color wrong. So. I don't remember there being a light. But this could be most of it. Oh, hey, have you seen The Great Catsby? It's way better than the book. Open YouTube! New York, 1922. The temple of the city had changed sharply. The buildings were higher, the parties were bigger, the liquor was cheaper, and the morals were looser. No, no more cat videos. I have to work. Close window. That cat just recited The Great Catsby in perfect English. How are you not impressed by that? Taylor, his mouth was probably animated or something. Did you read the comments? Amy Chicken Nugget 229 said it was real. Oh, wait, Amy Chicken Nugget 229 says it's real. Micah, he has 30,000 followers on Twitter. He's a legit influencer with- Taylor, I can't argue with you right now, so can we, like, talk later? Oh, fine, whatever. Just DM me when you're done. Okay, I will. Close window. Maximize Wikipedia. Hi, welcome to Wikipedia. As a library student, we edited 1,000 free access to Internet Encyclopedia. Wikipedia is a Muslim library resource. <laughs> Hi, so what color was the light that Great Gatsby? Hmm, not that. Concepts for the Great Gatsby include one by one, historical concepts, two, plot summary, three, next characters. This will take too long. Control F, search for light. Gatsby spends many nights staring at the face across the back of the end. The color of the light is turning into the daisies from basic attractions, through the fog of the Muppets and Sesame Street. Green! Okay, that's all I needed. Thanks! Wipe it off and... Wait, what was that? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Kermit the Frog wasn't in the gas <laughs> Uh-uh, looks like we found the Wikipedia. We at Wikipedia believe anyone should be allowed to edit and punch into our articles on our website. However, this can occasionally lead to errors like this as we encourage people like this to participate. Well, I think Herbert the Frog should be in everything. It's like the way it's green felt is a mind state. And that's not weird. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you were the main source for my essay? <laughs> uh, yes, I know. Studies have shown that over 90% of high school students use Wikipedia as a source for their research papers, which quite frankly is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I better go to a different source to make sure the light is green. Close Wikipedia. 
open Google. Hi, welcome back to Google. Still your best and easiest option for surfing the web, watching a movie, and getting your photo taken without your permission. I got it. Just the search engine, thanks. Just a search engine? All right. Wait, I'm a search engine. So, you should be asking for me. All right, so, what do you want to look up today? That you know, well, that you, I know, that you know, or you know, you know? <laughs> I want to look for the great. The great is Dan Gianni, the great Gatsby. The great Galveston, Texas? No. The great? The great Gabby? The great Gatsby? The great Gatsby white color? No, just let me talk. I want to look for the great Gat. The great Gatsby, got it. No, not just the great Gatsby, the great Gatsby light color. Good question. Great Gatsby light color. Hmm. Results from schmoop.com. Schmoop.com? What the heck is that? Uh, looks like a site that knows a lot about green ones. Well, it sounds like an illegal gambling site. If I click on this, am I going to be flooded with creepy click ads? Hey, we here at Google, we're a reliable search engine. You're probably not going to be able to find this. I'm reassuring, but sure. Click on Snoop.com. Hey, any interest in the Great Gatsby? Book Plus movie for the low price of $3.99. Just click me and you'll have it. I promise. Hey, are you going to take your place? Am I that? Am I so calm? You have white, right? Like, please, bro. If we read, click me. Please, bad. No, dang it, close window, close window. Google, you said Schmoop was a safe site. And how did those click ads know I was interested in the Great Gatsby? I've only been looking for it for like two minutes. Hmm, that is weird. <laughs> Probably just a coincidence, though. <laughs> okay. There are no coincidences. Oh, just accept that and your life is infinitely better. All right. Close Google, open Taylor. Hey, I just figured something out to help you with your Great Gatsby. Hold on, I was just about to look something up, and I don't want to get distracted. About the Great Gatsby? No, about Google and how it's selling my information, and... I thought you were doing a paper on the Great Gatsby. Why are you doing research on Google? Because I... I don't know. You're right. Shoot, I was about to go down a rabbit hole. Okay, what? What were you going to say? Well, if you haven't figured out the light thing yet, I just remembered. Rachel told you got an A on her paper last year. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure she would know what the color the light is. You should be in it. Okay, that's a great idea, thanks. Yeah, just remember, she does that makeup tutorial show now, so if she doesn't get back to you, now she will when she's done recording. What? Rachel's son, she has a makeup tutorial show? I thought she wanted to be a vet. She's always posting pictures of those weird, sick looking animals. Yeah, she did, but then her cousin got her into fashion, and all she wants to do is makeup tutorials. She posts like three videos a day, and they are very intense. She has a lot of energy. A lot. I guess you have to make those kinds of videos. Well, all right, I'm done trying to do this. Post Taylor DM, FaceTime Rachel. Which is why if you truly want to let us those songs, you'll get a nice treat that will to smoke you. Oh, looks like we have a special guest today on Rachel's Tuesday in your lunch corner. It's my dumb bag! Uh, what do you mean I'm on your show? My God, it's so great for you to be joining us today. As you know, Tuesday is the day to anyone in for a free makeup session. And looking at you, no one who really needs a makeover more than you. <laughs> I don't need a makeover. And what does being schmace mean? What are you talking about? Having a schmace means that your makeup game is on point. And using my medium hand tint foundation glitter injection, I'm going to show you how to maintain a fierce, original, multi-basic schmace look. Uh, that can be done in 15 to 75 minutes every time. <laughs> okay, well, as honored as I am to be on your show, can we not be on it? I actually just wanted to ask you a question about the Great Gatsby. But my friends, you're so in need of getting some extreme tips to get your face to me. Because look at you. I mean, it's not depressing, like clinically depressing. You should definitely listen to that. <laughs> That's because I don't have any makeup on. It's like 7.20 in the morning. No excuses, Michael. Rule number 17 of my guide to no lunch corner. If you're going to show your face on screen, you must look clean. Not all lunchy and weird like you being on board. I do not look weird. Michael, trust me. You do look very weird. And saying that you don't look weird is not only offensive and hurtful to me, but it's also really, 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 really offensive to my Rachel fans who watch my videos every day. <laughs> but you just said I look weird, and that's very offensive to me. Look at your face. Your lunchy, embarrassing, humiliating face! <laughs> My other feet are blowing up. You have to look at this. Oh, um, gee. 
Rachel, who is this and why isn't she listening to you? Dog face emoji, dog vomit. <laughs> This is ridiculous. If this girl didn't want her face face, then she would have gone to her your show. That's a dark emoji. <laughs> I am so angry! I hate you, Michael! Go away! Five minutes ago, you unbid so what will be the most embarrassing, humiliating, depressing thing you've ever seen in the hallways. You know what? Forget it. I don't care anymore. You're too self-absorbed to let me speak for five minutes. That, that, I don't care. I'll find you somewhere else. Close FaceTime Rachel. DM Taylor. Hello, hello, hello. Taylor, why would you send me to Rachel? She's insane. She's not insane. She's just passionate about what she does. She just yelled at me and sent all of her followers after me for not having a schmace enough face. I mean, don't you think we all can use a little more schmace on our face? I mean, even I, thanks to Rachel's show, now put my eyebrow raised because guess what? My eyes are my best feature. And I've been hiding with these, these hideous eyebrows. Taylor, your eyebrows are fine. No, they're not. They're monsters. Rachel told me so now I know. I have a flaw and I'm going to fix them. My eyebrows are hideous. Okay, fine. Let's stop talking about your eyebrows. Can we just get to finishing my yakky paper? Who else could I ask for help? Um, let me think. Nina. <laughs> Nina Benson. Uh, she's like crazy smart. She gets A's and everything. I'm pretty sure she would know what color the light is. Oh, that's a great idea. But I never see her online anymore. Is she on anything? I never see her on Facebook or Snapchat or... Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I don't even think she's on Instagram anymore. She's kind of off the grid, do you say? Off the grid? Well, how am I supposed to get in contact with her? Do you have her phone number? No, but I heard that Kelsey told Ryan that he saw on a separate that a guy from Carson saw me on Tinder once, so... Maybe try Tinder? What? Ew, no, I'm not going on Tinder. Well, you don't actually have to, like, use it. You just need to make a profile to get in touch with her. Plus, she's, like, crazy smart. It'd be worth a shot. Fine, I'll give it a try. Minimize Taylor. Open. Oh, God. Open Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, open to Tinder. The number one side for matching single, lonely, self sort people in your area. To a precise and curated sense, moving a finger from right to left or left to right. <laughs> Clear enough for 50 million couples all over the world. And can I just say, you have such a great forward finger. Like, it's really sculpted. You do finger crutches, want to get a bit of a heart? No, stop hitting on me. I just want to look yeah. on Tinder. Can I do that without making a profile? Mm, no. But great question. You know, it's weird because I really like Christmas too. But they think we have so much in common. Are you sure you don't want to meet up? Maybe we can do trivia together or watch Jeopardy? Mm. <laughs> no, I just want to look for someone. Can you just take me to meet a bit of stage? Oh man, I'd love to. But a simply surface one without a profile would be very untender. Hey, will you just make a profile for me, quickly? Absolutely. Having a little bit of profile is a minimum way to start your match. First off, I'm going to need a picture. Okay, there you go. Next. I'm sorry, what is this? A picture. <laughs> One picture. A poorly lit selfie is your profile picture? Then how about you just six profile pics for a reason, Micah? You need to show that you're relatable, attractive, well-traveled, in great shape, approachable, and fun. Even if you're none of those things in real life. <laughs> but I don't care. Can we just move on, please? Oh, how much? Because they want to put a dog park with you. Mm -hmm. But sure, let's move on. What are you passionate about? Um, fire and my friends. Next. Two words? Are you freaking kidding me? Do you really expect to get a swipe right with friends and choir in your fashion? Maybe I will. Maybe someone will appreciate that I'm being honest. Oh, give me a break. This is one honesty, they go, they go to a confession. Tinder is about making a heightened version of yourself, so a potential mate that you see the look two seconds takes you to see the picture, then do this. And if you're going to take this process seriously, I'm not going to take you seriously. I don't care if you don't take me seriously. Just get me on the site. No, I'm authorizing code 13 feet. A permanent swipe left. That's not a thing. I want to look for someone, so just get me on the site. Never. I will not let you compromise the integrity of Tinder. By the power vested in me by millions of shirtless men, and you're because of your people. Swipe left. You have been penalty swipe left. Please leave Tinder and contact me. If you do, there will be consequences. But I swipe left. <laughs> Turn off 
Peter DM Taylor. Hey, how did Tinder go? Did you get in touch with Nina? No, I've been permanently swiped left. What? <laughs> permanently swiped left? I thought that was an urban legend. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. I just put a profile pic to myself with a selfie and the site went crazy and shut me out. <clears throat> Mike, just a selfie? On any social media platform, you have to have at least four go-to pics. At least. I personally go for the four following. <laughs> One, professional. <laughs> Two, Okay, we need to find another way to get in touch with Nina because apparently I can't use Tinder ever. Okay. Wait, you're just looking for the color of the light, right? Yeah. They <laughs> just watched a movie. They're usually pretty close to the book. They made a movie out of the great gas. They make movies out of everything. I think it's on Amazon. Oh, that's great. My mom has an Amazon account. Thanks. Close, Taylor. Internet, open. Uh, yes, hi, sorry. Call me on my lunch break, but hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, I need an answer. Uh, yeah, you asked for the yeah, internet, so you asked for me. Okay. We were kind of like the exact same thing here. No. It's not the same thing. I don't have to use Google. I can use Bing. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna use Bing? I mean, have you ever heard somebody say, hey, what's Bing? Alright? <laughs> did someone put it up this? Did Zuckerberg do this? Did Zuckerberg put it up your list? Alright, you know what? Yeah, go ahead. Bing? I'm sorry. I dare <laughs> Oh, hey, you want a Bing? <laughs> Television 
plus documentaries, plus blockbuster movies. <laughs> Look, all I need is the great Gatsby. Do you have that? Yeah, no. <laughs> See, we did have it, but then our life's back. But you know what we do have? Game of Thrones. G-O-T, baby! It's got ornaments, and dragons, and countless hours where characters just talk. Um, hours, and Game of Thrones, it's got violence, and queens, and dragons, oh so many dragons, 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 dragons. I'll put some work with my mind. I'm all Harry Potter movies. I don't want to be bored. A movie, a documentary. There is no equal. There is only one option. Netflix. Yeah. It's nothing personal. My friend said that a movie version of The Great Gatsby is playing on the gun, so I started there. No excuses, Micah. There is only one option you should be choosing when you want to watch something. Only I am the binge-worthy obsession you tweet about with your friends. And only I am the romantic soundtrack you play when what you really want to do is chill. <laughs> All I need is the great guy. Of the 15,000 titles of the great and vast library that is Netflix, I present to you Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Yes, it is. Kind of. Are you kidding me? You don't have the Great Gatsby either? Um, well, you see, I mean, it doesn't even have to be the Great Gatsby. Look, we have plenty of stuff, okay? We're like uh, $8 billion in debt just so that we can make more original content just for you, okay? It's only a matter of time before we make our own version of the Great Gatsby or all of S. Scott Fitzgerald's work or all the literature for the matter. So please. Please watch it! No, that's it. I've had it. You're useless. All of them. Cold streaming channels. All this information. All this interconnectivity and knowledge across millions of platforms and not one of what the light was in the Great Gatsby? Fine. You know what? I'll read the book. Are you happy in that? I'll read the book. Page by page, like a caveman. <laughs> Answer to the FaceTime. Hey, I just went through my contacts and... What are you doing? I'm looking through the book. What, like, reading? Yeah. Yeah, but... What? <laughs> no, Mike, don't do that. It'll take too long. Taylor, I've been on the internet for 20 minutes and I haven't accomplished anything. Yeah, but reading? On paper? Micah, you're better than that. No, I'm not. If I would've just look, picked up this book in the first place, then I would've been done by now. Uh, but I found you in this email. <laughs> email? I thought she said she was off the grid. Yeah, but like, I sent her like four emails last month, and each time she responded within a minute. I think it's the only thing she still responds to. <laughs> what, what's in this deal? She's off the day except for email. She's super smart, but no one knows where to find her. Ever. What happened to her? Um, I don't really know. Um, one day she was on Instagram and she started just posting these cryptic messages about brain waves and computers taking over our thoughts. And then like one day, no one could find her. Well, if she's lost her mind, why am I trying so hard to find her? I don't know if she's out of her mind. I saw her at school the other day and she seemed just fine. Yeah, she's crazy smart. And you get the answer way faster than if you read on that dirty, smudgy paper. Michael, you're making me so upset right now. <laughs> okay, well, I disagree. And now was even more time talking to you. So, bye. Close Taylor FaceTime. Get it together, Michael. Read, Michael. Read. It's not that hard. It's, it's not that hard. It's not hard. Oh, dang it, Taylor's right. I'll just email them and email. It'll be quicker if I email her, so I'll just email her real quick, and then I'll be done. Turn on the Wi Fi. Hi, welcome back to Google, where we have everything you could ever want, including really gross stuff. 
That's just he's just he's triple. How can you do with your head? I want to write an email. Ooh, what are the internet's first modes of messaging? Throwback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We love Gmail here at Google. Would you like to also check out Gcal, Gmap, uh, Gpad adoption? No, yeah. just email. Thanks. All right. <coughs> Google that. Well, hello there, young. Now, welcome to email. We've <laughs> <laughs> sent a text message to the Times of Peace and Mail since 1972. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what the heck it is you'd like me to do? I hope to send a piece of email. That's pretty much all I do. Great, that's all I want. Ah, well, hi, dude. That's wonderful. <laughs> Simply type in your message and I'll send it off to your recipient of choice as well as the advertising companies in the federal government. Looks like you're a terrorist, that is. Jesus, why does everything on the internet try to steal my identity? I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, listen here. Gmail is by the many free things. You know, for free. So, would you rather we charge you for an email? No, but... Alright, good. Just be, be grateful for what we give you, because we could just take it all away. Have a Google day. So you're ready to send that email? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I want to send an email to me. Nick at Yahoo.com. No, wait. Mina? Mina Bradley. No, can everything just stop automatically? Mina Vincent at gmail.com. Well, all right. Now that we got your two filled out, how about we pick a subject? Um, favorite. No, favorite question mark. It's a mighty fine subject. It's a mighty fine subject indeed. Especially like the question mark that really says, I'm sorry if you can ask me. It makes you look vulnerable. Now all we need is the main message. If you like, I could give you some suggestions or what to say based on an algorithm, meaning that I'm really good at teenagers. Suggestions? You know, how would you know what I want to write? It's a new feature I'm trying out. I think it's pretty exciting. Here, let me take a crack of writing for you. I just wanted to see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to help with the book report. I don't want to ask her what's up. Okay, how about this then? Hey, Nina, your deal's on fleet, queen. God! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, no. You sound like a robot dad imitating a teenager. Just let me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Give me one more. Ask this. Beep! 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 No, what the heck was that? You just made car honking noises. <laughs> Seems like we have some things to work out with this automated email writing program. Well, go ahead and tell Lena what it is you'd like to say. Okay. Hi, Lena. I know we're not super close, but I wanted to know if you knew what color the light was in the Great Gatsby. Taylor said that you might know. Thanks. Mm, one fine email. Or very fine. Big, big email. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right, let me see here now. And, mm. and okay. Okay. <laughs> you can see your message in mere seconds. Mm. That was great for anything else you'd like to see. You have over 2,322 emails you have. <laughs> Would you like to read them? Uh, no, I don't really use email that much. I'll just ignore them. Are you sure? <laughs> well, you don't check your emails. Truth be told, that's kind of <laughs> I know it's most drunk now, but so easy just to leave him so uh, No, I'm just gonna leave. Please! I'm drunk. <laughs> so let's see. Boom. Man, can you know? Please! No, close email. No! <laughs> <laughs> And you have finished it by now if you're not going to, so let's go. But mom, this is worth like 10% of my grade. And alright, I'm barely hanging on to a B in English. And if I drop down to a C, then then Michael, you said this is gonna take you five minutes. And it should, but I don't know what color the light was in the great Gatsby, so I went on with a peanut, but it seems like whoever made the entry might be lying. And and then Taylor said I should go to Rachel while she did this makeup shady on her show. And then I have to make a Tinder profile. You're not allowed to go on Tinder. I know I'm too perfect. It's like left for life. 
and, and Netflix and HBO and Amazon keep yelling at me, and Taylor keeps DMing me, and it's great. What? How did you know that? The great gas is one of my favorite books. Daisy's Life is the one that gas is me. It's great. Well, that would have been extremely helpful 30 minutes ago, Mom. Hey! Why do you even tell me what color the light was? Because you didn't ask. You know what? That's it. Turn off your computer. You're going to school right now. But I still have 15 minutes left. No, this is what I hate about screen. One minute shit is nice, sweet, and one minute nothing makes you want a phone. You turn into this irritable, snappy monster. I don't like the version of you. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is just. It's really frustrating. It's taking me longer to finish this than it should. And I, I really, really need to finish this because if I don't finish this, then I won't get a scholarship. And if I don't get a scholarship, then okay, okay, I'll give you 10 more minutes. I can see you really need it. And what this really seems to be testing you. And what is it? What? Nothing. Go. Finish your paper. You have five minutes, but if you're not finished after, I'll definitely finish it. Now that I know what the light was, I'll finish it in no time. Yeah. <laughs> In the end, Jake asked me every day for what he wanted. His precious and elusive green life. He believed there was a life better than one, the one he had at the time, so he was always reaching, always living. And each time he reached, he'd be pulled farther and farther back from reality, like the many before and the many after who tried and failed to grasp the elusive American dream. And done. You hear that, Mom? I just finished my paper like, Less than a minute, so there was no reason to yell at me. Michael one, mom zero. <laughs> DM Taylor. Hey, I really can't talk right now. I'm behind the guys and I really need to catch up. Uh, what? What are you doing? Well, I'm playing this game, knock grandma off a chair. It's like empty birds, but instead of birds, you throw babies out of grandma and until she falls out of her chair. <laughs> <laughs> And it's the most trendy thing on YouTube, SunTube, GitKat, and Combo Chat. And I just found out about it right now. I feel like such an idiot. And that's a bad thing? That's an incredibly bad thing. Like, I live on the internet. For me to miss a cross promotional game like this, it's like I've been wasting my life. Okay, well, I'm done with my paper, and I'm not nope. maybe you can't talk. Got a game. Really got a game. Well, I just want to have you with the last paragraph since you're so busy. As long as you have a quote, you're golden. A quote? <laughs> yeah. It's like this unwritten rule. As long as you have a quote, and it has to be a good one, you should. You should be alright. I had to find out the hard way. On my paper for the capture and arrive. Um, I put the quote to be or not to be, and he gave me a C. He said that I obviously did not read the book. And I told him, you are correct, sir. You are totally correct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's a good quote from the great guy? I don't know. Ask your mom. I can. Anytime I want to ask her things like this, she's always like, read the book. I mean, she confirmed the line screen for me, but she won't like write my essay for me. <laughs> Did Nina Benson ever write you back? Uh, I don't know. I never checked. I Open your Gmail. Oh, there, Mike. Fine, I read it. Clean up your email up so that. No, I just want to see if Nina Vincent wrote you back. Well, not looking like she has yet, but if you wouldn't mind, just clean up your inbox. Nope, we gotta go. Up close to now. <laughs> no! A dinosaur gap under his weight! <laughs> <laughs> she never wrote back. I thought she said she always responds to you right away. She usually does. That's so weird. You want to know what's even weirder? I just saw her on Twitter. Wait. Saw her on Twitter? Why didn't you tell me that at first? Well, because I just saw her on Twitter, and she's usually not on anything. Something weird's going on with her. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna be him or be in her there. Close Taylor, open Twitter. Hey, 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 welcome to Twitter where we encourage insults like you're ugly and shouting, ah, now two of your first two characters, tweet, tweet. Wait, you call yourself a news site? How? You don't even have reporters. Because we share news with reporters, therefore we're news too. Well, if you don't actually hire reporters, how do you call yourself a news site? I heard that. Look, so, girl, let's tell you We, Twitter, we share links with actual news reporters. So, we're news to, you get it? No, no you're not. We are. Sure we are, because, hey, I'm going to see you right now. Did you know that today is the doctor's office? 
That's not a day. <laughs> oh, it's a day. I just tweeted about it. Tweet, tweet. That can't possibly be a thing people do. Wrong. Why do the people do it? Check out this guy. My mom said I could never have a brother, so I adopted this puppy instead, because I believe a puppy could be a brother if you wish for a hard enough. And then my mom told me, no, a puppy can't actually be my brother. And besides, what I'm holding is just a stuffed animal. And then I told her, don't worry about adopt a puppy, it's a silly day, Mom. I hate you. <laughs> Closed window. Twitter, I did not need to see that. That was so weird and disturbing. Just take me to Nina Benson's page so that I can eat him. Absolutely. Enjoy. Oh, wait. Don't forget to use hashtags. Like, even if you don't want to, but use them for everything. Even if it is helpful. Okay? Okay? Tweet, tweet. Bye! Hello. What's your name? I'm so happy you sent me the direct message using my United States computer. Yeah, thank you. Hey, if there is one thing I know about American teenage girl, it is that we love to go to underground meeting to overthrow corrupt US government. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not going to some meeting. And this obviously is Anita. She never want to overthrow the U.S. government. Of course I will. It's what all cool American teenagers are doing these days. <laughs> Ask your favorite celebrity hot drop, like uh, the Bieber Justin or Aruga La Grande. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to some secret meeting with a Russian guy who's clearly a spy. What? Me? I am typical American teenage girl, age 15 to 19. I like uh, the Instagram, the toys, and the Netflix where I binge like crazy. How could you accuse me of being Russian spa? Okay, close window on me. Twitter, get back here. Hey, welcome back to Twitter. Want to see what some inspiring slash sack comedians are tweeting about? Tweet, tweet. No. Who was that? You sent me to the wrong Nina Benson. That obviously wasn't her. That was some Russian guy posing as her. What? Are you sure? Why are you in the tweet chat? That's like so 2009. <laughs> why don't you even watch, like, why don't you read a pig piece or watch a movie of, like, movie stars falling down or something? Or you can listen to a music video of a goat. I mean, oh, yeah, a goat. Definitely a goat. He's a goat. See, dear Evan Goatston. <laughs> God, I hate those goat videos. They give me a headache. No, they don't. What's wrong with this site? Hey, it's definitely not Twitter's fault that we do no set policy. Therefore, anonymous, ferocious, craziest, creepiest people invest in our platform. It's just like in the jungle. Only the strongest, the craziest, the sweetest, the meanest survive. Just like in the jungle. No, this is why I hate Twitter. It's the worst social media of all social medias. Close ah. Twitter. DM Taylor. Hey, uh. my Twitter girl. Did you find Nina? I, no, because obviously Nina's account was hacked by some Russian spy. Oh, so that's why she kept sending me sure this pictures of Vladimir Putin. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> shot. Focus, I need to finish this paper, so where else can I find Nina? Corby? Corby Bluebird. He's like really good friends with Nina. Remember that guy? Uh, yeah, big glasses. He really liked video games. Didn't he graduate? Yeah, he did, um, but he didn't end up going to college. Instead, he made a Twitch channel. And that's it. That's all he does. It's his job. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> If by weird you mean the most incredible thing ever, Corbett's living a dream. He gets to yell at his mom girl all day and play video games as a job. Meanwhile, I do that all the time, every day, for free, like an idiot. Well, are you sure that Nina and Corbett are even still friends? Uh, yeah, I think so. Look, I just sent you a link to the channel. He usually takes a two-minute break from 723 to 725, so as soon as he goes on break, shoot him a little DM through his Twitch feed. It's like the only thing he answers. Okay. Well, close to Taylor. Open Google. Hi, welcome back to Google. Matt's a multi conglomerate that owns companies like YouTube, Wayne and Apple. A company whose sole purpose is to expand on the lifespan of the company. That's weird. Yeah, now that I'm saying it, it is kind of weird. I don't think we're going to find one to that. But hey, let's not worry about that. How can I help you? Uh, just take me to Corbin Bluebird's Twitch channel. 
Over to the Twitch channel. Gotcha. Be sure to. Micah, I don't make rules with the internet. I just slam some follow them until I get a migraine. 
<laughs> he left one on a stupid game. Colt Taylor, open Google. Hey, Mike, good to see you again. Want to invest in our new cryptocurrency, G Point? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Yes, sir. Investing in cryptocurrencies are great investments. Except when it's not. Anyways, I'm going to help Can you just take me to the Knock Grandma for cheer game? The touch screen game? Sure. Uh, here you can take Never mind that. All right, so, Knock Grandma for cheer. Coming right up. <laughs> Ha! Welcome to Not Grab My Friend Chair, the game with Grandma's in the chair, and you're an inch with this life, and so I'll grab her. What? They're not just random babies? I'm throwing her own grandchildren at her? Jesus, why do people like this? Because people love seeing other people suffer. Deep down, y'all are pretty awful. Yeah, I guess so. You can race this food, isn't Oh, yeah. Care for singularity, singularity baby. In the meantime, enjoy touch, a touch man game in three, two, one. Okay, you want to put a snapper? Why don't you put a paper to put the dog? You're getting it on. <laughs> wow, this grandma kind of sucks. I hate white women throwing baby hair. Here, take this. Ooh, grandma got some babies on her face. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I mean, I kind of get why people think it's fun. Exactly, feeling terrible and feeling great. It's game through. The image is all about rape level two, now we're extra two, the baby boozle. What's the baby boozle? Kept those in the club and find out. Alright, well, I really need to get back on the train, but I kind of do want to see what a baby boozle is. Uh, <laughs> sure, start level two. Great, level two. Right for my grandma? She's got to take a heart medication, so she's a little more careful. Ha! You keep going, you learn to do the do the do the do it's seven years of experience. What do you have? <laughs> baby bazooka? Now, baby. Try to use it? Heck yeah. Baby bazooka away. I got it! 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 I Wait a minute, 
Uh, could you just take me to Nina Benson's page? Mmm, sure, bar she's gonna take a beat, you know, and uh, hitting a friend with like all the shirts from. I mean, hey, look at that.
and videos to memes and links. Listicles and it's driving me insane. Okay, I get that you're upset, but when you insult the internet, you're, it's like you're insulting me, because the internet is my best friend. So could you, like, take it down a notch? Why? I mean, at its core, isn't the internet supposed to bring us together? Isn't it just a bunch of wire that makes connection easier? Oh, well, originally, yeah, but... Then why can't I talk to Nina without getting yelled at on YouTube and hashtagged on Twitter and getting my brain melted on Twitch? I mean, for the love of God, I went on Tinder today. Look, I told you the best way to get in touch with Nina is to email her. I did. She never wrote back. Oh, really? When's the last time you checked? I've been checking all day. Look, open Gmail. Hello there, Mike. It looks like you get four new emails. One from Twitter, one from a Devon Reeves newsletter. One from Nina Benson, and one from a sketchy website that says Purple Sun. And look at Paul endorses. Sorry, that last one should have been put in your spam and called my footprints. Ha, see? I told you. Have a little thing. The internet provides. Yeah, but my point still stands. This whole morning has been idiotic and pointless, but you're right. At least she wrote me back. So, email open Nina Benson. Are you sure? Habits like these that make your unread email pilot so well. You're leaving just a few a day. No, just open Nina Benson's email. <laughs> You're in a black as hard as fuck! Hey, Micah. Sorry for the delay, but I really can't talk here. If you want to contact me, open this link in the Torch browser. That way I know you can be trusted. The internet, it, it just isn't safe anymore. Ah! Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Sorry. Why is she being so secretive? And why did she say the internet just isn't safe anymore? I think I was wrong for telling me to get in touch with her. Anybody that says that the internet is dangerous is obviously crazy. Or just needs to get punched in the face because everything about the internet is the best. Well, I'm still going to talk to her. I mean, I've come this far, so I'm going to cook on the she gave me. Oh. I didn't take you for someone who would go to the dark web, but by all means, go for it. Whoa, wait, who said anything about going on the dark web? You did. You just said you used Torch Browser, and that's a browser that you use to scroll through the dark web. I thought you had that. No, I just thought it was another old search engine like Bing or... or No, God, stop that. I don't want to 
search and spy on anyone, I have a link, so just take me to this link. Hey, hey, I'm going Shut down my computer, but it seems like you want to do it. 
but I don't care. It'll shut down in a few minutes anyway. Yeah, I would have to pick up that. I mean, from getting off the line nowadays, you kind of kind of productive. I mean, why do that when you can do everything from home? Like, that's what we all did during the pandemic, so why not do it now? Uh, I don't know. I really need to go to school. Or what about these clickbait ads? You know you love clickbait ads. Okay. You know, like, I have pictures of these really hot celebrities. Hot celebrities. But without makeup on. You know that sound in your face, like, have extra girls. Here, two one, which one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always want to click on these, and every time I do, I really, really regret it. I was right. I'm just going to turn off my computer and go to school, because I've been off the online too much. So I'll just do it manually. Why can't I move my arm? Oh, huh. that is weird. It's almost like from the hours you've spent online, your brain has completely been rewired to where now everything you do, I do. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> now, let's talk about this rational. <laughs> I mean, do you really want to go to school? Seven hour long days, 45 minute periods, 100 days a year? I mean, why do that when you come to the end of your school while watching a movie, browsing the web, and watching a cat do something crazy at the same time? There are over 100,000 cat videos on these two grounds. You can catch up. you you they're all just for you. And listen, my guess, because we're on the same page here, I'm not saying that. I'm very, very education, but why do that when you could be doing it at home? In your chair. Your sweet, oh, you can't see your sweet chair. I mean, doesn't it feel like you've been standing forever? No, I like standing, and I like walking, and I like talking to actual people. I like being a person. But why? I mean, the internet has so much to offer. You have no rules, no curfews, no laws. All you have to do is just give up a few personal freedoms. You don't even seem to care about yourself. <laughs> now, why don't you sit down, watch the no! I want to run! I want to be the sun! No, it won't! I, I won't be the sun! I'm going to get off my forever and I'm going to join the resistance with Nina! Oh, really? You're going to join the resistance with crazy old Nina Benson. Living up in the mountains, eating cabbage, and drinking your own purified drink. <laughs> 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 Micah, you went in the class. Wanna why? Because you rely on me. You do everything. You grew up with us. You got it. <laughs> really like the grammar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what about that guy in our seven? We don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's such an offer you can't see. Because your ADHD won't let you. Oh, yeah. Apps, websites, take my brain. Now, my dear, I've got to run. Have a good night. Back you up, back you up. Please, Mike, go home. Tara, what are you doing here? Well, you are answering your phone, and then Nina sent me this creepy message on Twitch about how the internet was going to take over our brains, and so I ran right over. Well, first I posted a few pictures on Instagram, and then I.
finish my YouTube video, but then I came back over. <laughs> Taylor! Clint, what did you expect me to do? Not use the internet? What am I, a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> Neil told you that the internet was taking over our brains and you stayed online? Look, I think the best way to deal with the internet is to just set limits. Like four to six hours a day nuts. And any more than that, our Google will take over our brains. And that should be okay, right? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Setting limits, <laughs> limiting screen time. I sound like my dad. I hate limiting screen time. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna let them take over my brain and use me as a battery. So, bye. Taylor. Oh, no, no, Ryan. You've been online too much. It's just, we, we need to take a break. I mean, we're not gonna join the resistance with Nina. I hate cabbage and soy pills, and I don't care how many times that you're in this I would never ever drink my own pee, but I know. We, we will set limits, and we're not going to be slaves, we're going to fight back. We, we, <laughs> toy baby! What? This doesn't even make sense. What are we supposed to do with these? Taylor, it's the internet. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be loud and repetitive. Now, let's go kick some ass! Okay? What? <laughs> Oh, God, yes. <laughs> 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 